All right, time to start from scratch yet again. I did this a little bit ago, but I wasn't really happy with how it's going. And then I totally stopped playing for like two weeks because I was overwhelmed with life. And now I'm just starting from scratch again. I just, I, I want to get Dead God and I want to play well. I don't know what I want to do. I just want to play Isaac. I love this game. I, I'm really looking forward to getting Dead God again. I think the whole Path to Dead God is so much fun. It's like genuinely such a fun experience. I love this game. <sighs> Tower card could just give me a free secret room, which I think is going to be here. That was dumb. Ah, oh, goddammit. I'm a dumbass. And this game hates me. Now I get to see the empty donation machine. Oh god, it hurts. But I need to fill that up. And I get the best shop item in the game in a stopwatch. I also need to do daily challenges again, which sucks. I hate doing dailies. It's like the most tedious part of my life for a month. But it'll all be worth it once I get broken modem. Honestly, the thing I'm dreading the most about this is just having to go through everything up to, uh, what is it? Unlocking It Lives and the Polaroid and all that. Because that is such a tedious process. You need to be Isaac and Satan like five times each or something. But it'll all be worth it once I get to get in my groove of things again. To get all the characters unlocked and I can just start doing runs. And I can't get my secret room. I can't get that chest. I can't get anything. So it's basement two time. Honestly, I don't really mind doing like all the daily challenges and stuff. It's not that tedious in itself. The most annoying thing about it is just having to turn my mods off every time I want to do it. Oh god, Pact is a nice ass starting item. Alright, I will leave the room with that so I don't take damage on the soul hearts. God damn, that is really nice. I was about to complain about my DPS, but honestly, I can't really complain anymore. God damn it, this room sucks. <laughs> now, playing Isaac without the D6 is gonna be hell. I cannot wait until I can just unlock that shit. Pupil of Duplex is nice, I'll take it. Not that I have an option, not that I have a D6, but it's honestly a decent item. Oh god, I thought those were stonies. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing. I totally should have gotten hit by him there. That's the thing I think is so silly. And rather than lamb those little blast assist guys, I guess I could have a reroll. Those little blast assist guys are counted as like boss enemies, meaning they have like full HP bars, even when it's just a little room with like two of them. I don't know what the enemies' names are. I know the boss is obviously Blastosis. I just forget the little guy's names. The maggots. And Dingle. It's an easy boss fight. What are you doing? Monstro's Tooth. Yeah, I'm going to be getting unlocks left and right now. Uh, there was no reason for me not to take that. I don't know why I didn't. But I will take Eye of the Occult and the Mark. Those are both very nice. And that's Lazarus. And that's Leviathan? Oh my god, that is an early Leviathan. Nice. Well, right off the bat, I have nice damage, nice tears, nice speed. I'm pretty much chilling. It's, it's gonna be a one run, I think. <laughs> it's an obvious secret room. Oh, reroll's tempting. No, but all the all the insane secret room items are unlocked, so that kind of sucks. Uh, whatever. I'll take it. Don't give me more devil deals. I think that will be the weirdest part of doing a new save file is just not being able to go through runs like I'm used to. Because that was honestly probably like peak Isaac for me is when I had like unlocked all the characters and I was just getting all the completion marks. I thought that was so fun. I mean, some characters more so than others. Like T. Lazarus was miserable every single time I had to play him. But like, I don't know, characters like T. Maggie characters like, I mean, most of the Tanya characters in general are honestly really fun. Well, I mean, Tainted characters are kind of hit or miss. There are some incredible Tainted characters, and there are some terrible ones. Honestly, that's worth. I don't need HP. I also think I'm going to try and be, like, smart about the order I unlock things in, because I know, like, I can just not unlock, like, sticky nickels. I can not unlock... I can unlock just good runes, which I think I'll do, honestly. I think that's best bud, which is useless. These both kind of suck. I'll take this for Biel's bud, maybe. Wait, where is- oh yeah, you only take- oh yeah, that's why Best Bud sucks, is they only appear once you take damage. Dude, why is Best Bud so fast? It's the most, like, aggressive fly I've ever seen. I think Secret Room is here? Okay, if it's not there, then it's definitely here, right? Okay, now I have no idea. I mean, it maybe could be 
here. Actually, yeah, I think this is my secret room. Okay, I'm just done. Oh my god, that's a nice item. Uh, that's useless. I'll throw it all in the donut machine. Blue map. Yep, need to go through all these again. I mean, I should be basically bombing every mushroom, right? Now that I can get magic mush. Might as well just do this. Maybe I'll get lucky. God damn it. Gertie's an easy boss, though. She is always been free and always will be. Could probably find my secret room, or my super secret room. It's probably down here. Yeah, right? And it's useless. That is one thing. I honestly have no idea how to explain, like, the process of finding super secret rooms to someone who doesn't know how, other than just the fact that they can't be adjacent to any rooms, just because... It, it really feels like more than anything else, I've just learned it through, like, intuition. Just playing the game more and just getting a feel for it. There's no logic. I mean, there are certain room layouts that I could say, like, oh yeah, this is an arrow and it points to it. But, like, a lot of the time it's just, I don't know, it just feels right, you know? And this feels like a secret room. Okay, it's not always right. So at least I can have some comfort in knowing that I would not have made boss rush anyway. And god, these curse rooms suck. Never mind, Dime's honestly nice. Curse rooms are like probably the number one thing I'd want to see change in Isaac. Because like on average I feel like it's just a net negative, which I really don't feel like you want in room types. I feel like not even a net positive, just breaking even would be fun. And little brimstone, of course, my beloved. This was, like, one of my favorite items when I first started playing Isaac. I, I still do really like Little Brimstone. But I kind of just forget he exists once I start getting powerful. But early game, he can totally carry. God damn it, I should not be taking damage to Mega Fatty. Little chubby, my beloved. God damn, what are these items? And that's Azazel. I mean, Azazel, I don't... Love Azazel as much as I did at first, but I think Azazel is by far the most powerful character in the game, not including tainted characters at all. So it'll be a good while before I'm playing as any tainted characters. Little Brimstone, please. Yeah, Little Brimstone is amazing. Dude, how did I not kill him? I was shooting directly at that guy. God, look at these navigation skills going everywhere but the right direction. I also feel like I probably should play that bomb beggar just because I have a lot of bombs. Like, an extra bomb effect would be nice. And that is absolutely useless. Bombs are... And now I have 82 keys. Beautiful. Oh, Mama Mega is like a free bomb kill pretty much. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Absolutely. Not even just a free mom kill, just a free, like, depths too. God, any any boss that has, like, random shit like that is just... I immediately hate it. Uh, useless. I unlocked Eve? How did I unlock Eve? And Mama Mega basically makes this whole floor free. I... Uh, I could go for dark room on this run by playing this sacrifice room until it pays out but i don't think that's a good idea i really want my mods back so i'm just gonna hold off on that and yeah ready for the <laughs> oh could i have done boss rush there god damn it i'm disappointed all right well that's all that unlocked. Nice. God, I hate speed. I forgot I have to do that. Holy shit, I forget how many unlocks there are behind Mom. No, I'll play as Isaac just for the first few runs, just to get the Mom's heart done. And then I'll just do Azazel for all the subsequent kills for it lives. And I'm taking Guppy's paw, I don't care. 
Oh, Proptos, this is good. That is a really, really nice starting item. This is a really good start, just in general. Guppy's Pawn, Proptosis is insane. And an Emperor card, yeah, I, I, I can't complain. Uh, PhD would be nice, but I don't... I'm going to be holding onto this Emperor card for so long, I don't think I really need it. God, look at Proptosis on floor one. That is just insane damage. Considering I have, like, no other tier upgrades or anything. <laughs> look at that. And Toothpicks. Well, now I do have a tier upgrade. There we go. And I should have taken PhD. <laughs> Are you for real? That's so dumb. Okay, well, Seeker Room's almost definitely right here, right? Really? Oh, well then it's right here. It has to be. It's a weird location, but whatever. And I wasted a bomb and I can't get that chest now. That's unfortunate. Actually, actually, hold on. Hold on. So, can please give me a bomb. I want that gold chest. Oh, I love you. And I'm a dumbass. You. Alright, well that's worth anyways, and I'll take PhD, because why not? It's not like I can throw it in my donation machine anyways. Another 48 hour energy. I have so many charges and nothing to spend it on. God damn it. I'm tempted to just go in there an Emperor card. And I think I will. And curse rooms are pointless. This is this is what I'm this is what I'm saying. This is like so annoying. To just go on a curse room and it's pure disappointment. Oh my god, Gemini's dead already? God, I, I forget how like insane of a starting item Proptosis is. I the occult again. Sure. That's a good item. It's just straight up good. Oh god, if I don't get a key. Oh, if I don't get a key, I'm gonna cry. Come on, don't do this to me. Okay, thank you. And, okay, I get keys anyways. Fruitcake, I don't like you, but I'll take you because it's a new file and I need items anyways. Oh god, fire mine. That item right there is the reason I don't like fruitcake. I could max out that sack room with Guppy's Paw. If there's a soul heart in here, I'll do it. And yeah, I won't do it. I think my secret room is here. And I'm always right. I've never been wrong in my life. I'll also use the tower here just to farm for magic mush and devil deal chance. Oh my god, look at all those pills. Sure. Tooth and nail is nice. That's free curse rooms. God, tooth and nail looks so intimidating when it's this big. Look at that. Terrifying face. I don't know how people feel about this room. I pretty much always go all out of this room if I can. And that's why you shouldn't go all out of that room. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I need to try something. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that works too. Fruitcake might have been a really bad idea because it's honestly making me scared to like take advantage of Proptosis. I don't want to stand too close just because I'm worried I'll blow up. Oh, and a double deal. That's amazing. Oh, Pact is really nice. Can I get another Leviathan this run? That would be wild. And how do I get Samson? How did I do that? I do not know. Uh, I'm going to go in here and then just Emperor card. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a take. That's easy. And the Parasite. I think that's for taking items that are like dead or something weird like that. Spelunker. Oh shit, that's. Oh my god, okay, awesome. And another devil deal. Uh, that's Guppy. That's. Holy shit. Guppy on my second run ever. Guppy's hairball, cack out your tongue, yep. All the good shit. Actually, I could probably do the entirety of depths without getting hit if I really try. Get that achievement out of the way as fast as I can. And I get. Okay, it really is Pride Day, damn. 
A three dollar bill plus fruitcake is terrifying, and I do not like it at all. I will say I do like three dollar bill more than fruitcake. Not that I like either of them. I think they're both terrible items, but three dollar bill feels less like invasive than fruitcake, or not less invasive, but more predictable. I could very well make boss rush this run if I hurry up here and just don't fuck around in depths too. I'll do it because I, I can beat boss rush with this build. There we go. There's Stompy. I thought that was an achievement. Well, if nothing else, I could get these rocks now. Might as well just try and get as many unlocks as I can for now. And another devil deal. I'm getting lucky as hell this run. I have no real reason to take, like, well, I mean, Dark Bump good. Also, Little Horn. Okay, actually, I'll take Little Horn and Dark Bump just because uh, Guppy's Paw and Nine Lives. So that's always a really nice combination to have. I'll do Telepills just because it could bring me closer to the boss. And goddamn, does it bring me closer to the boss. <laughs> I could go for my treasure room here, but I, I really don't need it. School bag. Alright, now I just need Hitless Mon and then that's Dark Boy. Which I... Hello? Oh my god, that's beautiful. This is insane. I feel like I'm just obligated to take Play-Doh Cookie at this point, like, with all the shit I've gotten on this run. And there goes Perfection. It was nice while it lasted. Dude, what is this? All these rainbow tier effects are messing me up so bad. God, I hate not having the wave counter, actually. This is, like, not hard, just bleh. I miss my mods so bad. Oh, I could leave right now, but I, I feel like I should just get the unlock at this point. I mean, where is... Oh my god, of course. That's actually upsetting. I have, yeah, I, I hate not having the wave counter. I have no idea how much left of this I have. I need my mods back. I'm incapable of playing the game without cheating. That's, honestly, that is not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought I had way more left. Another sack room. I really... I'm tempted to like, uh, yeah, I could, I really could go to Dark Room, but I also kind of just want to progress naturally. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. If there's a sack room on Womb 2, I'll definitely do it. Mama Gertie. Yeah, this, this boss fight's free. <laughs> Look at that. I don't even know what like weird secret room items there are before it unlocks. I like all the fun secret room items I can think of are unlocks. God damn, I have an excess of soul hearts. Okay, I am really hoping that there's a sack room here. What the f- This is why I hate $3 bill. Also, I am curious and I am going to check one thing. Oh, that's Kane. Okay, cool. I want to see if Mom's Heart does contact damage because I know that It Lives doesn't and I haven't fought Mom's Heart in forever. I would also like to point out, just because I think it's silly, I'm ending this run with more bombs than the Pyro run. Okay, Mom's Heart doesn't do contact damage either, that makes sense. And Mom's Heart is dead. Oh wait, is that... That's, um... That's Shoal, right? That's Satan? I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, okay, I didn't I didn't even know you could do that on your first Mom's Heart kill. I don't know if this will still give me the and it does, okay. Yeah, it gives me all that. Alright, awesome, I'm getting a shit ton of unlocks this run. Also, if there's a sack room here, then I could definitely do go dark room, which is not likely, but it's possible. I, I am going to try. I will try my absolute hardest to go to dark room on this run, but I, I, I don't think it's happening. Bob's underwear. Is that yes, mother? There we go. Of course, going the... <laughs> you just look at those navigation skills. That that's That's wild. What the fuck was that tier? Ooh, okay, this could be fun. Okay, so that could technically give me I Am Error Room, which would be Dark Room. So I'll, I'll I'll try that after I kill Satan. And then I'll absolutely scour the whole floor. 
but I don't know. I don't think it's happening. All right, well, there's Satan. All right, so I think that I'll just use... Okay. I don't know why I'm focusing. This fight's going to be easy, and I fucked that up. <laughs> and this fight is absolutely free. I could try to go for telepills, please. No, okay. Yeah, it's not happening. You know what, I'll, I'll take my second run ever of Satan and go with it. Alright, awesome. Oh, that's Mob's Knife, really? Damn. And Judas. Oh shit, that's a piece of the negative, I forgot about that. Alright, so that's like a lot of progress for two runs ever. Um, I guess I'll go for the daily challenge now. Though I hate doing this. Oh, it's Bethany. Bethany is a fun character. Not... These items suck. These, these, there's, there's nothing I can even say, just these items suck. Oh, Blood Puppy. Blood Puppy's funny. Sure, come along. Easy ass daily challenge. Oh, but I, I made I made good progress. I got like how many unlocks did I get actually? Okay, I got thirty six unlocks in two runs. That's that's like dumb. I didn't really didn't get Maggie. That's true. But I mean, yeah, I'm 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 chill. I'm good. <laughs> 